Welcome. Today's recipe is some delicious egg curry and I can't wait for you guys to try it. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing, turn on your notifications and let's get started. The first step is to make incisions in your boiled eggs. You can use a knife, you can also use a fork. The purpose of this step is to make sure that all those flavors soak in your eggs. Now into your pan, you're going to add a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons, followed by one teaspoon of curry powder. And we're also going to add a little bit of salt as well, just about a pinch. And we are going to cook this curry powder together with the salt for about one minute. Now the next step is to add your eggs. You remember the incisions that we made? Now this is where that step is very important because we are going to soak that curry inside the eggs. Once that is done, go ahead and set aside. Now that we have set our eggs aside, let's get to the frying. I'm adding one large onion. I will also list the exact measurements on the description box for your future reference. Fry the onions until they are translucent. Go ahead to add in a teaspoon of garlic and ginger mints and fry that as well. I then added about a tablespoon of tomato paste. That is completely optional. I like to fry the tomato paste first to remove that strong taste that it has before I add in my tomatoes. Next, I'll go ahead to add in my pureed tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes, just let them completely break down. For my spices, I'm using a teaspoon of cumin, about a teaspoon of garam masala, three quarter teaspoon of black pepper and I'm also going to add just a little bit of salt to taste. Please note that in the first step you had added a little bit of salt so just add very little. I went ahead to add in some water to help my sauce simmer. This is the point where you add in your eggs. You can see how beautiful they look from that curry that we cooked them in a little bit. And then I added an optional ingredient and that is bay leaf, which goes perfectly well with egg curry. Please go ahead to cover your eggs with some sauce as well. And I'll cover this and let it simmer for about five minutes. And there you have your curry. The sauce is thick to my liking. And we're just going to finish this up by adding a little bit of coriander to it. The key to a perfect curry is building the flavors. And that is exactly what we did with this recipe. It was absolutely delicious. The aroma is to die for. And I enjoyed it over with some noodles. You can enjoy it with some rice as well, which is one of my favorites too. And it was so good. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next recipe. Bye-bye.